Hello guys, in this video, let's understand how we can configure Azure Application Gateway. So, we will understand it with simple explanation. And in this video, we will just understand the concept that is the steps to configure Azure Application Gateway. And then in our next video, we will actually create Application Gateway and we will host a website behind it. Now guys, if you can see this screenshot, so we have two web apps. So the first web app is this one and it is hosted in this VM and this VM it is present in this VNet and subnet. And we have another web app and it has been hosted in this app service. And on the left hand side, if you see we have this VNet, then subnet within this VNet and then we have this application gateway in this subnet. So basically what we want to do is we want to configure application gateway such that behind this application gateway we should be able to access this website or this website okay so the first thing is obviously some user he will access our application gateway that is this website from public internet so so obviously the request will come from over here to this application gateway and as we are accessing application gateway over public internet that means that means first we will need to configure something called front end ip and most probably it will be a public ip and again we have this front end ip so that a user from public internet should be able to connect or access our application gateway so that is the first step now second Again, as we have discussed behind this application gateway, we may have a web app which is hosted in this VM or we may have a web app which is hosted in this app service, right? So that means we have to configure backend, right? So the second step is configuring backend pool. And again, you see this backend pool, it represents this web app either in VM or this web app in app service. Okay, so we have front end IP, we have backend pool, but then how exactly request will redirect from this application gateway to this backend pool, right? So for that, we will have something called routing rule. So this routing rule, it will take or it will receive this request over this front-end IB and it will forward it to the web app either in VM or app service. Okay, that's great. And now we know that application gateway, it works with web app, right? So. So again, it will receive the request from this public internet, right? And again, see this application gateway, it is nothing but a web app. So this application gateway, it will receive request over HTTP or over HTTPS. That also we need to specify, right? So let's say we are receiving the request from this public internet to this point. So are we receiving the request over HTTP or HTTPS? So that is nothing but HTTP listener. So the fourth step, HTTP listener. Okay, so we have received the request over HTTP or HTTPS. But after that, of course, we need to forward that request to this web app, right? Either this web app or this web app. And again, are we forwarding this request to this web app? That is this backend pool. See this backend pool. So are we forwarding this request to this backend pool over HTTP or HTTPS, right? So again, you see this backend web app or this backend web app, it will also receive the request over HTTP or HTTPS, right? That also we need to specify. And that is the fifth step that is backend setting. So that's it guys. These are the five steps required to configure application gateway. And again, these steps are front end IP, backend full, routing rule, HTTP listener and backend setting. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.